got another 27 inch monitor in the house. This is another 2560 by 1440, that's 1440p or QHD or whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of pixels crammed into this space and it is different than the one that's been floating around. The Shimian and we've got the Quinix and the your mom monitor and all these other monitors that are, that are using the LG panel. This one's using a Samsung panel. Not a TN panel either, and it's only 320 bucks. You got like two of these, right? For yes. how much? We got uh, two shipped for 620. That's hurting my head. Uh, so, so let's go ahead and cover the specs on this one, and then we'll talk about some of the pros and cons with this one versus the Shimian, because I've pretty much determined that the Shimian uh, is the favorite in this price range as far as the LG panel goes. So first off, the specs on this one. It's a Samsung um, PLS panel. 27 inches, of course, 2560 by 1440. Contrast ratio, static contrast ratio, that is, is 1,000 to 1. That's the same as the Shemian. The viewing angle is 178 degrees. It does require a dual link DVI cable. It has audio. This thing has audio for it's, 320 bucks. It's terrible audio. Oh, it's awful. But if you're like in an office and you need like a large monitor and, you're, and you know you just need to like maybe watch a YouTube video here and there and you're not like playing video games or anything like that, it could be a good way to save a lot of desk space. You know, put this on a monitor arm and just use the audio here. So that's one way to go. I will never ever use the audio here, ever. <laughs> but some people that might be, hey, it's, it's a handy thing to have for some people. It sounds like crap, but you know, you can make out words and hear music and whatnot. Uh, the response time is eight milliseconds. So that in comparison to the Shimian, Shimian six milliseconds. Um, the size of the entire unit, 646 millimeters by 463 millimeters by 173 millimeters, and the weight is 5.2 kilograms. Get out your calculators if you guys are in, uh, you know, in the Imperial system. Uh, it consumes about 45 watts. It's uh, got an external power brick. Yeah, external power brick. Uh, so, the nice thing about this one is it takes 20 or 12 volts, and the other ones have all taken 24 volts. All right, let's talk about this one uh, compared to the others. Now, 8 milliseconds, how does that work for gaming? Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at Bioshock right now. I'll, I'll bring that up. I mean, it's going to be hard to see because you're watching it through the, the Canon 5D Mark II. Um, let me just go ahead and bring it up. And YouTube's going to take us down to about 30 frames a second anyway. So, I mean, I didn't really notice any difference between the Shimian and this one as far as the gaming goes. Of, of course, some people are like 2 milliseconds. I can't seem to tell a difference between this and, like, those gaming-grade uh, monitors, but I'm sure if we hooked up some scientific equipment, it would be like, oh, this one is clearly different than this one. That should be on our to-do list. Yeah. I mean, we're going to do that. I, 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 I go outside, so I, don't, I haven't had time to do that no <laughs> lately. One, no one's been brave enough to send us a gaming LCD. Are they afraid of what we might find? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Find that, hey, there's not much difference in this one and that one. Maybe we'll find that, or maybe we'll just go outside and throw axes at it to see how strong it is. <laughs> I don't know. The so. axe durability rating of this one is 0 0.03. <laughs> the axe durability rating of the other one is 0 0.05. Yeah, they're usually zero in the zero range, <laughs> 0 point something. An axe durability rating of 1 would have, have to still turn off if it was a 1. We had a planar medical display that, that might have an axe durability rating of like 0.75. Yeah, but they're so ugly because it doesn't get any planar than that. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right, the ports on this one. Of course, we've got the uh, power port, small power port. And then we have our um, DVI, uh, dual link DVI port, and they're all on the side of the unit and they're easy, easy to access. On the Shimian, it's actually kind of frustrating. Some of the larger uh, plugs, they, you have to like wedge them in there and bend the cable. It's actually kind of strange. They're on the bottom. I, not a lot of fun, if you ask me. And you can fit quite a lot on this monitor. I can't really see what's over there right now, so I'm just going to guess. There it is. There's that one. Um, There's a link to buy it now. Now, the crazy thing is that this thing shipped and was at our office in like four business days. From Korea. From Korea. So that price was shipped to the office in four, four business days. It was literally like, order it, nothing, <laughs> nothing. It's in Anchorage, Alaska. And then the next day it was like, it's here. It's like, holy crap. As far as the resolution of each individual pixel and how it looks compared to the Shimian. Now the Shimian has... No coating whatsoever. The LG panel itself does have some sheen and some shine to it. This one's matte. It's got a matte coating. Uh, this one's better for glare, obviously, like a lot better for glare. But the uh, I found that the text on the Shimian was slightly uh, sharper, just a little bit sharper. I mean, what, what did you think of them? Just naked eye test. Yeah, like naked real eye world, test. Naked eye. Very small fonts are sharper. And that's apparently, like, I actually Googled it, and apparently the reason for that is that the anti-glare coating for things that have very small details, it sort of blurs the pixels a little bit. 
I found that it looked really good for games. I thought that the colors were a little bit more rich with the Samsung panel uh, here with yeah, I was surprised with the, the X Star. I was surprised about the contrast ratio because it looks like this panel has better contrast than the. Shimian. I think it just has a better better color than the Shimian. I mean, I, the Shimian is an, you know an Apple panel, like it's an LG panel made for Apple. And a lot of other companies are using that same LG, and you're seeing that same LG everywhere. But, I don't know, I really like the way it looks. And this is just a personal opinion, but I thought it looked richer on, on this monitor. I played Trine for a little while uh, as well, and I thought that game looked very rich um, with this monitor as well. And another thing, uh, the the fonts are extremely readable on this monitor. I mean, you, you can see, like, the edges of the pix pixels on the Shimian, but with this one, they're very readable. And if you're going to be sitting there reading for a long time it may actually be easier on your eyes. So there's that to consider as well. I really want one of these. I, I would probably switch um, to this one just because it's, you know, I'm kind of a nerd for sleek lines and I don't like the white edge of the, uh, it's, that's vain. But I, li I like the sleek look of this one. Uh, the bezel feels more durable as well. Even though once you put an arm on there, it may not necessarily be more durable then. It feels what, about the same. It's got the Visa, uh, the 100 millimeter Visa mounts on the back. And if you swing it around on a Visa arm, it's got a lot of give, just like the Shimian. Yeah, the Shimian had a lot of give, but eh, that's that's the way it is. The one gripe that we have is that you can't remove the foot. The foot, I mean, you can take off the, the flat base the on bottom, the foot. Yeah, the bottom, the base of the foot. But the peg, in order to get the peg off, the only thing I could figure out was you have to take the whole back off and then take two screws out of it to get it off. It can't be. that. We have to do an update on this because you've only tried this a couple times, right? Yeah, well, I tried for about a half an hour to figure it out, and there's nothing in the manual about it. And it seems like it'd be easier than that, but it seems like that's the only option. Yeah, the stand does allow you to swivel back and forth. It feels a little jerky and weird. I mean, it's... I would rather put this on a, on a monitor arm, but it'll work just fine on a table like this. And the the stand is is it's crap, but it's not it's no worse than most of the stands that you get with every monitor you buy in some big box retail store or on order online. I mean, it's stands just seem to be crap these days. It's very very rare that you get a decent stand. Okay, the other difference is well the button positioning on the on the shimmy and everything's on the back. If you've got monitors stacked everywhere like Wendell does, um, it's going to be impossible to get to those buttons. <laughs> you do difficult. too. Your yep. monitor configuration, you can't get to the buttons either. Well, I have to like kind of stand up and finagle around. With this <laughs> one, the buttons are on the bottom. They're easier to get to. You have the brightness controls right there. Of course, there's no OSD or no on-screen display uh, for those out there who don't uh, who, who are not acroneticists. Um, also, the volume. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real word or not. <laughs> the volume controls uh, on the bottom. Um, are right beside the brightness controls and, and we have volume controls here because there are speakers so naturally volume controls i personally think i like this one as much if not better and the for the price yeah i really like this one you guys can check out we have a link if you know you guys want to click on our affiliate link we will hook you up we found a good ebay you know dealer if you guys click there it'll go over to his store and you guys can grab this monitor there helps us out we help you out everybody's happy five business days or less <laughs> to your door you're like, you're doing the sales for the guy. <laughs> like, he's going to call and be like, yeah, you're hired. Yeah, you're buying from Korea, but I mean, honestly, PayPal will refund your money if you sneeze wrong. As we just talked about in the tech. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, in the box, it comes with an audio cable. All right, you've got the uh, the plug it, for... It comes with an international power cord mm -hmm. and then a crappy adapter. I would say don't use the power cord, but it uses the same power cord that computers have used since 1981. So you won't have a problem there. And that's quite handy. And then, of course, it comes with a uh, dual-link DVI cable. So if you're wondering, hey, I don't have a dual-link DVI cable. Is that going to cost me extra? No, it comes with one of the box. And those things can be kind of expensive. So as long as your graphics card can handle it, which most modern graphics cards do. I've even had a, like a, a $30 4650 that worked just fine with this. And they say online that some of them do not work. But just any graphics card that has a dual-link DVI port is going to work. So go ahead and subscribe and hang out on the forum. And just do everything that I always tell you guys to do. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know uh, what you guys think of this monitor. We might do some more scientific testing, but we literally have about 40 products stacked up to do. And I wanted to give you guys a look at this one because I personally think it's a very cool monitor. And I'll be playing with it a little bit more. And if I do notice anything uh, as far as the different, you know, 6 millisecond versus the 8 millisecond response time on this one, I'll let you guys know 8's getting up there toward the, uh, the end where I usually like, I don't know about that for gaming, but so far with gaming in this, I have not noticed anything. Maybe I'm an idiot, but I... It just, it's just smooth. It, it works. So, yeah. I'll try some action scenes a little bit more. I've played Bioshock. It doesn't look that bad at all. Anyway, see you guys next time.